Hello and welcome to lesson number two in this course for users of Microsoft Word 2010. The course is aimed at beginners but it can also be used as a refresher for existing Microsoft Word users. Here I'm looking at a completely blank screen in Microsoft Word and I need to create a new document so what I'm going to do here is go to the file tab click new and you'll see blank document is already selected don't worry about all the other templates for now and all you need to do is simply come across and click on the create button I'm going to type out a sentence and remember when you're typing out a sentence start with a capital letter of course and to do that you hold down the shift key on the keyboard and press whichever letter you wish to have capitalized in my case it's the letter T and I'm going to continue typing the sentence now which is the quick brown fox and you might recognize this sentence the lazy dog and the reason that's a famous sentence is as I'm sure you're aware it incorporates every single letter in the alphabet and I suppose I should also finish it with a full stop to make it official now if I press the enter key I'm going to retype part of that sentence but this time I'm going to type in capitals and to do that, if I press the caps lock key on the keyboard, I can now type out my sentence. But as you will see as I type, it is all capital letters. Now that sometimes is very useful for emphasis, for titles, that kind of thing. But it's also worth watching out for if you don't intend to type in capitals, make sure that caps lock is not active when you're typing. Otherwise you'll end up with a page of capital letters. Now if I press the enter key one more time, go to a new line, there's something I want to show you. Now if I forgot I'd switch the caps lock key on and was typing normally, what I would do is type shift and T to get my capital T and then type H and E normally. And as you can see, I've got my letters back to front basically, but Word can do something clever for me. If I just press the space bar now, you will see the Word has fixed the problem. What it's done is basically reverse the case of the letters and it also cleverly switches off the caps lock so I can now continue typing as if nothing had happened. And if I wasn't looking at the screen, I may not have even realized I'd left the caps lock key on at all. So sometimes Word can solve problems without you even realizing it. Now I'm going to create another document, but before I do that, I'd like to close this one down without saving it. So a keyboard shortcut you might find useful is Control and F4. And what that does, it instructs Word to close down the current document. I get a dialog asking if I'd like to save it. I'm going to say no, so click on Don't Save. And I can now type a keyboard shortcut Control and N. And that creates a new blank document. And as you'll notice, it bypasses the previous screen where I had to choose a template for my document. And one of the most common types of document that people create with Microsoft Word is very simple it's a list of things to do so I'm going to create one here now you can either follow along and copy what I do you can also download this document and work along with that document if you want to or you're free to create your own list if you prefer so I'll start by creating a list and I'm going to use uh, an example business Fred's Adventure Holidays and throughout the course we'll be using that business to come up with examples to illustrate how you can use this program so let's get started here then so we'll start with the name of the business and again if you make any um, errors the quickest way just to do a fix is to use the backspace key or back delete key and then you can simply retype I'll put the S on as well so there's my first line, just press the enter key and as you saw in the overview Word puts on some spacing between the lines because when I press the enter key I'm effectively creating a new paragraph even if it's just a series of lines as I'll be doing here or a series of sentences if you prefer so I'm going to type Monday press the enter key and the first thing to do on Monday is read a document from Tom about some UK holidays. Now I made a spelling mistake there. I'm going to leave that for now and I'll fix that later on. Again, sometimes it's a good idea just to type the content, get all the information in, and then go back and fix the errors later. So I'll just press the enter key. I've also got to do a letter to Jim. 
about a new shop sign. Again, press the Enter key. Now, the reason that the name Jim is underlined there is because I forgot to capitalize his name. But again, I'll leave that for now and I'll fix it later. And the final thing to do on Monday is buy a birthday card. So those are my Monday tasks. If I press the Enter key, I'll type Tuesday and I'll go on and create a list for the rest of the week. So what you'll see now is the through the magic of video editing, the rest of my list being created. So I'm simply typing a line, pressing the Enter key, typing another entry and so on until I get to the end. So there's my completed list of things to do for the week and you'll observe as that was being typed out how Word automatically scrolled as I entered the information. So if I press the enter key a few times now you'll see the page automatically moves up. So I'll just use the back space key now to come back to the end of that line, get printing quotes. The next thing I'm going to do is go back to the beginning of the document and you may remember from the first lesson that to achieve that you simply type control and home keyboard shortcut. I'm also going to modify the spacing of the lines on the page. Now at the moment it's the paragraph spacing that's causing the gap. So to modify the spacing here I'm going to come up to my home tab, make sure the home tab is selected, come right over to the right hand side and you'll see here in the style section there's a button at the end there that says change styles. So click on change styles, come down to paragraph spacing and then you get a fly out menu and if I select no paragraph space just click on that come back to the page you can see my lines are now much closer together that's created a new problem because I do want some gaps on my page but I'm going to use the arrow keys and the enter key to create the space that I want so I'm going to press the down arrow once and you can see the cursor flashing in front of Monday just press the enter key to create a new line Use the down arrow key again, and this time we're going to move to Tuesday. Again, you can see the cursor flashing in front of Tuesday. Press the Enter key. And again here, I'm just going to keep going down and just go to the first letter of the day. Make sure the cursor's flashing ahead of that. Press the Enter key. And again, down to Thursday. And again to Friday, finally. Press the Enter key. And so now I'm happy with the layouts of the list. I'm going to fix those spelling errors now. And if I just right click on the word, you'll see I have the correct spelling at the top of the list there so just click on that that's fixed about and if I go to Jim right click on that you'll see that word is correctly guessed that I simply forgot to put a capital letter um, there are other options there so Jimmy might be appropriate but I don't know him that well so we'll leave it as Jim and there we are so there are my spelling errors fixed there are some things on the list that I need to move around to a new location and also some things I need to duplicate. And to do that I'm going to introduce you to cut and paste and copy and paste and some of the basic techniques you use to do that. So let's say Fred's forgotten to buy the birthday card which is something I tend to do a lot and he'd like to move that task to Tuesday. So the first thing I need to do here is select the line with buy a birthday card on. Now as you saw in lesson one, if I move the mouse pointer to the left of the line, the mouse pointer changes from this eye beam shape to an inward pointing arrow. As soon as I get the inward pointing arrow, I simply click and that selects the line. There's a number of things I can do now to cut the text. There's a keyboard shortcut, Control and X. But I'm going to use the toolbar buttons and if I come up to the left hand side of the home tab I'll click on the cut button and by the way when I put my mouse pointer over it you'll see a tooltip pop up which says cut and it contains the keyboard shortcut as well just in case you ever forget that so if I click on that now you'll see the buy a birthday card text disappears that is now on the clipboard and it's ready to be pasted back into the document so I simply go to my new location and I'm going to click just after clean the car, come back to the clipboard section on the home tab and click the large paste button. And you'll see as we come back to the document, the buy a birthday card line is now under Tuesday. So I'll do that one more time and this time I'm going to move clean the car to Wednesday because now I've got to go and buy a birthday card. So I'm going to select the clean the car line and this time I will use the keyboard shortcut 
Control X to cut the line. Come to Wednesday, just click after the money to the bank line, Control and V to paste that line. Now, as well as cutting and pasting, you can also copy information in a document. Now, I'd like to copy the line money to the bank and also have it show on Friday. So again, I'm going to put the mouse pointer to the left of the line, click to select, and this time I can use the keyboard shortcut Control and C to copy. Again, I could simply click the copy button in the clipboard section, but I've used the keyboard shortcut. Now, if I click at the end of the document, get printing quotes, press the enter key to go to a new line. I'm just going to use the scroll wheel on the mouse just to scroll down so you can see that a bit better. And I will actually use the paste button again. So if I click that paste button, there's my money to the bank, which now appears twice. So copy and paste, cut and paste, very common things to use in the word processor, extremely useful for moving information and duplicating information as you have seen. I'm going to save the document now, so I'll click on the Save button. And you'll see that Word has put part of the first line in as a file name. I'm just going to press the backspace key to delete that and type in there things to do and press save. Now, if you have a printer connected to your computer and you wanted to print this list, you would simply click on the file tab, come down to print and you'll see a preview of the page here. And if everything's as you want it, simply click on the print button. There are many other settings in this print section and I'll cover those in a future lesson on printing. And if I click back onto the Home tab, there is another option for printing, which is to hold down the Control key, press P, and that takes you straight into the print section. And again, you can simply click on the large print button to print your document. Now, if I press the Escape key, you'll see I cancel out of the print dialog and come back to my page as well. So that concludes this lesson. I hope you found something useful in there. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next lesson.